How much are the Harry Potter books worth? How was the Lord of the Fantasy genre able to make millions of dollars? Stay tuned to learn more about the lives of rich people. Hello dear friends, John Rowling is a British writer and film producer with a net worth of 1 billion dollars. Joan Rowling is one of the richest individuals in the United Kingdom and the first author in the world to reach $1 billion. It should be noted that JK is very secretive about her personal finances and denies that she's a billionaire. This would be possible if she secretly donated most of her fortune to charity. For the record, we know that to date she has donated at least $150 million to charity. As you know, she earned fame and fortune for writing the Harry Potter's fantasy series, which has sold 500 million copies since its debut in 1997. The books have spawned a multi-billion dollar empire of movies, merchandise and theme parks. In a given year, JK earns an average of $50 million to $100 million from its various ventures. Between June 2018 and June 2019, she made $90 million. She wrote her first book as an unemployed single mother living on welfare. Early years Joan J.K. Rowling was born in Yate, closest to Shire, England, on July 31, 1965. As a child, she wrote fantasy stories and read them to her sister Diane. She stated that her childhood years were unhappy, citing a strained relationship with her father and her mother's ongoing battles with multiple sclerosis. She said she created the image of Hermione Granger from herself at age 11. After graduating from Exeter University, where she studied French and Classics, JK moved to Porto, Portugal to become an English teacher. Harry Potter Rowling was working as a secretary and researcher for Amnesty International in 1990 when she got the idea for her first novel about a boy who discovers he is a wizard and attends a school of magic during a belated train ride from Manchester to London. As soon as she returned to her apartment in Clapham Junction, she began writing. In 1995, she finished her first novel titled Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. She called a literary agent, applied to 12 publishers, and received a resounding rejection from each of them. A year later, Bloomsbury Publishing gave her the green light and an advance of £1,500. The chairman of Bloomsbury gave her 8-year-old daughter the first chapter of the book to review and her response was a passionate demand for an immediate sequel, thereby solidifying the decision to continue working on the book. Rowling soon received a grant from the Scottish Arts Council to write a second book. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was published in an initial print run of only 1,000 copies, some of which went straight to libraries. Over time, the sleeping romance began writing awards and attention, and in 1998, Scholastic Incorporation won the rights to publish the novel at auction. Scholastic published the book in 1998 in the United States under a modified title, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, a decision with which Rowling now admits she disagrees and regrets that she agreed to the change. The first installment of the series proved to be the first in a possible seven-book series and launched a major literary, film and licensing industry. As the Harry Potter books gained popularity worldwide, they broke literary sales records. The last two, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, sold 9 and 11 million copies respectively within 24 hours of release. The books have been translated into 65 languages, published at a time when the number of children reading was declining and young people were rapidly abandoning books in favor of the rapidly evolving internet. The series was a turning point in the resurgence of interest in reading among young people. Movies the huge success of the novels was followed by a series of popular movies that began in 1998 when Warner Brothers paid a seven-figure sum for the rights to the first two books. The Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone adaptation was released in November 2001 and the second adaptation was released the following November. Harry Potter and the Prisoners of Azkaban and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire followed in 2004 and 2005. 
Two second screenings were released in July 2007 and July 2009, and the final Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows series was released in two parts, in November 2010 and July 2011. Steve Klotz wrote all of the scripts except for the fifth film, which Rowling helped with. She used some creative control and reviewed each script before it was made. Rowling's main requirement for the films was that they all be shot in the UK with an entirely British cast. In 2013, Warner Bros. and Rowling announced a planned series of five films scripted and co-produced by Rowling about the character New Salamander, author of Fantastic Beasts and Where They Live. The first Fantastic Creatures film was released in 2016, 70 years before the events of the Harry Potter series, and the second film was released in November 2018. Personal Life Rowling married Portuguese television journalist Jorge Arantes in 1992 and had a child, Jessica, in Portugal on July 27, 1993. The couple separated in November 17, 1993, and Rowling and her daughter moved to Edinburgh, Scotland. JK was a self-proclaimed poor single mother struggling to get an allowance, all the while she was working on the first part of Harry Potter. During this period, she struggled with depression and contemplated suicide. She married anesthesiologist David Murray in 2001, and the couple has two children, as well as Jessica from a previous marriage. They live in Edinburgh, London and Aberfeldy, Scotland. Rowling's mother, Anne, lost a decades-long battle with multiple sclerosis in December 1990. Anne's death greatly influenced JK's writing as she channeled her grief by immersing herself in Harry's character and how he coped with the loss. Philanthropy JK has used her wealth and power to support a large number of charities and causes. In 2001, she founded the Walland Charitable Trust, which uses her considerable budget to fight child poverty. She is involved in several other charities to fight poverty and social inequality, as well as charities that help fight multiple sclerosis. Notably, she has demanded that Coca-Cola, which won the race for companion merchandise for the film series, donate $80 million to Reading is Fundamental, an American charity and other community programs. She is the founder of the Anne Rowling Clinic for Regenerative Neuroscience at the University of Edinburgh. Named after her mother, who suffered from multiple sclerosis, JK funded the clinic with an initial donation of $16 million. To date, she has personally donated at least $150 million to charity. Brief Description John Rowling has a fortune of $1 billion. Over her career to date, she has made several billion dollars in book royalties, movie advances, movie rights, merchandise and more. Screenings of her books bring in millions, and Rowling receives a significant portion of that revenue stream. The eight Harry Potter movies have grossed more than $8 billion at the worldwide box office. Her last movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where They Live, grossed over $473 million at the worldwide box office. Analysts at the box office expect that the final worldwide value of the film is $800 million. Meanwhile, the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child sold out within hours of going on sale. Rowling wrote the story on which the play is based. As if all that weren't enough, she is also heavily involved in the development of the wizarding world of Harry Potter theme parks in Orlando and Los Angeles and receives a small share of ticket and merchandise fees in addition to her license fee of about $60 million. Basically, it's good to be John Rowling. It's never easy to become a billionaire, but it's extremely rare for an author to become a billionaire. John Rowling's home, from the apartment slum to the treehouse. Most recently, she paid to build a life-size treehouse for her three children. The casual vacancy will be released this month. She has used a significant portion of her hard-earned fortune for various charities. However, she has also dabbled in some interesting ways. Most recently, she paid to build a life-size treehouse for her three children. John Rowling's house, or treehouse, is the brainchild of the British company Blue Forest. The house is two-story, with several rooms, spiral staircases and trapdoors. J.K. Rowling's treehouse also comes complete with turrets, balconies, crates to attract birds, and is actually two structures connected by a rope bridge. The entire treehouse stands on wooden pilings. J.K. Rowling's house costs $250,000, and it's now the first structure of its kind built by Blue Forest. 
have built a reputation as a reliable firm in the field of treetop architecture. For some who once lived in an apartment building, having the means to build a real treehouse must be a great thing. I wonder if there are fans of J.K. Rowling's work among our subscribers.